uh, the crew had been kept away from the costumes and it was all very top secret, blah, 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 blah. So uh, the first time they showed us off, um, you could just kind of see from everybody's face. Hi, Pablo. Hi. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Show's finally here. Finally, right? Been a long time. Been a long journey. Already renewed for season two. Yes, ma'am. So that has to be a nice little... First time it's ever happened yeah. in my career. Yeah? Yeah, renewed before it airs. That feels We great. love that. We love that. Great vote of confidence from Paramount Plus. Exactly. Thank you, Paramount. See you on March 24th. Boom. <laughs> what does it feel like to take on this role? This is a huge role, huge fandom. Huge honor, huge responsibility, um, and hugely grateful you know, to have the opportunity to get to do this. From the moment I got cast, I, I could feel from, um, you know, the online chatter, et cetera, how, how much it meant to people, how much the Halo universe meant to people, and how much the character means to people. There's a sense of ownership you have over the Chief, we all have, because when you play the game, you're playing as him, you know? Yeah. So um, I definitely feel that sense of responsibility to make it right, um, not just for Halo fans, but to expose this universe that I've fallen so deeply in love with to people who have never played the game, you know, and show them all why we love it so much. Yeah, do you, do you go on, you read all the online chatter? Uh, it's less reading the online chatter as it is when a thing gets announced. I have a Twitter account and people say shit. Yeah. <laughs> so I read the comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I tweet a lot, yeah. I tweet a lot too. Um, the armor seems heavy. It is, yeah, tell I me can about confirm. That. Tell me about that. It's about 55 pounds, but heaviness is actually not the defining feature of the armor. It is the fact that it makes you almost entirely immobile and incapable of movement. So learning how to move in a way that looks superhuman and super capable while being constricted to such a degree is the defining challenge yeah. of our show. You gotta be like, does this? did that look cool? There's a lot of that. There's a lot of checking the monitor, seeing if it looked cool. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of learning by, uh, you know, trial and error. Uh, what looks good, what doesn't. Learning how to shoot the suits in a way that feels authentic and real and vital. Um, and then what parts are going to be CG and added and, and visually enhanced afterwards. Yeah. What was your I'm in Halo moment? Like you have that mm. moment where you're like, yep, I'm in this world. Yep. It was uh, getting suited up. Uh, with my fellow Spartans, the three other Spartans from, from our silver team, and being paraded out in costume for the first time in front of the crew because uh, the crew had been kept away from the costumes and it was all very top secret, blah, 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 blah. So uh, the first time they showed us off, um, you could just kind of see from everybody's face uh, how impressive it was and how much this moment meant because there were so many people that were involved in this show long before me and have been trying to get it off the ground for so long. So to see that it was finally happening and it, that it looked so uh, impressive and authentic and real, uh, I think was, was the moment. Yeah. The moment of takeoff. The moment of takeoff. Um, <laughs> you went to like a boot camp, I'm hearing? I did a couple of boot camps. Um, I did the 343 boot camp, which is uh, the studio that makes the video game. I went up to Seattle and did the 343 boot camp with Kiki Wolfkill and Frank O'Connor. Um, and they just took me through like a five day uh, information download on everything Halo, the history of the games, um, all of, uh, you know, a deep dive into the mythology and lore, and then sent me away with a whole bunch of uh, resources and information that mm -hmm. I could dive and dig into myself. There's a lot. And then there was, there's a lot, and it's amazing, and it's so deeply realized and so rich. Um, and then I, I went to Budapest uh, about a month before we shot and we did a physical boot camp uh, of just like training and learning how to use the suits and the weapons and all those kinds of things. Cool. Well, that is my time, but congratulations. So lovely talking to you. Nice to talk to you, Ash. <laughs>